Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. The time is just about one o'clock, and uh, today is the fourth of March. And I exited my trade just as we were taking out the day's high about twenty minutes ago. And uh, I'll go over exactly what the day was and how it panned out. First of all, um, let's talk about the situation into the open. Morning when SGX started trading, it opened at sixteen thousand. From there, it trended up slowly. And uh, just as we were opening, SGX was indicating sixteen two fifty, and our pre market settled just above sixteen three hundred. Whenever there is a difference between pre market and SGX, it is far more likely that the pre market level will catch up to SGX rather than SGX catching up to um, the what the pre market is showing. So SGX Nifty is actually very important to take a look at just before pre open. Anyway, that still being the idea, I figured that would be priced into the options. I was expecting. There to be a bounce from this particular level, and today also let's talk about the risks that are there. When you see, when you, whenever there's an IV spike, right? Whenever there's a gap down, there's an IV mm-hmm. spike. Now, one of two things can happen: either there can be an immediate crush, or there can be a continued increase in premium. And there's always a risk. The first 15 minutes and last 15 minutes of the market are always in such a way. That you can gain a lot, spreads can gain a lot or lose a lot. So it can go either way, and uh, that's why today, as I entered my position, so my idea was okay, keep a wide range, just short the I, just short the fear of people in the morning after a gap down and after seeing sixteen thousand on the S T X, people will feel very scared now into that fear, short um, uh, options premium. I shorted the fifteen thousand five hundred put option and sixteen thousand nine hundred. Uh, call option. You can see the put is also giving me loss. Call is also giving me loss. That's because after I entered, and I'll go over where I entered. After I entered, there was a continued spike in fear, a continued covering of those options. So you can see I've entered fifteen five hundred put short at sixty three, mm-hmm. and sixteen nine hundred call short at forty. So between the two, you can say a um, hundred uh, and um, Hundred and one, hundred and two, hundred and three rupees like that. This is not trading much, much higher than that. Where this has gained and this has not lost anything, and in fact has gained a little bit. So both positions giving me loss. After that, there was a complete IV crush. Um, after the first candle, this entire period there was an IV crush, and just as we were going to take out the day's low. Now the problem for me was that into this particular bounce that happened here, this bounce. the call option i wanted to roll down my call option my position was slightly biased to the upside over here and in case once again we came and broke the day's low so let me just go over what exactly that situation is now after this you should be able to see yeah after this particular thing yeah this is the next update and this will give a very clear picture we made an up move and there was a cool off in put option premium so it's come down a little bit call option also has lost a little bit and my mark to market has come under control now if you see there is 68 rupees in my put and my call option has only 42 i want to move this down to 16800 which means i want to square this up and move it to 16800 call option which is And I wanted to do it at a price of sixty-five to sixty-seven. So here I didn't get this price. So after these two candles, I'm like, okay, let it come to sixty-five. I will move down my call. I didn't get that. Instead, what ended up happening is that as we headed lower, this call option had lost a lot of value, and I didn't think it was good risk to reward to bring down my call at a value such as that. And um, instead, what I ended up doing. is i squared off this entire position so as there was more of an iv crush i squared off this position moved my put all the way down to 15000 moved my call to 17100 saying that okay look i obviously missed the iv crush because i took a very early entry so it wasn't a good entry from there there has been a crush from a negative mark to market highest i saw was about 2.6 lakhs or so from there i've come into the positive now let me kill the risk in the trade because even if you remember what happened last friday mm-hmm. whenever there's uncertainty over the weekend you don't see a major crush in premium on friday so the premium crush on friday generally comes whoever is holding long options whoever is holding long iv positions they dump they remove their positions and that's why you see a fall off in premium especially towards the end 
But that is not the case. There's a lot of uncertainty of what can happen over the weekend. So they're clearly after the initial IV crush that fear covering that everyone did, there's not going to be much of an IV crush, which is why from this 10 o'clock till uh, 12.45 when I exited, there was absolutely no reduction as such in premium. Mm -hmm. And here you can see I made my strangle position 2100 points wide. And then I uh, just as we were breaking the day's low, I brought my call down one time. And uh, after that, there was really no fall in premium. The, the entire time, mark to market was being exactly the same. It went up as high as uh, 2 lakhs, 10,000 at mm -hmm. some point. But beyond that, uh, nothing really considerable. And then we had this massive, uh, I mean, this wasn't such a bad down move. I could have still held my initial position. I would have been at the same uh, mark to market. And then this recovery. See, the thing is, I had a three point trailing stop loss. And uh, once it hit 2 lakhs, that 3 point stop loss became about 1 lakh 40,000. Uh, that's where I took the exit and it happened as the day's high was broken. Even if we had continued to uh, consolidate here, I would have done well. Even if we continued to head lower, I would have been able to do well. This V-shape recovery like this, I had to cut my position here. There was no option but to do that. Uh, because if you see, I exited, my idea was once this call option reaches 28, I have to exit. Let me go over why. I think this will make a lot of sense now. So from 28 is kind of where it broke down, right? So this was where it was trading in the initial three candles. So around 28.30 is where I wanted to get out. I got out exactly about here. And uh, yeah, after this, it's very difficult to know what is going to happen, how it is going to move. Obviously, if I had held my initial position, it would have been also at the same market market. Like, okay, take a look at this. It's going to be interesting. 953, I'm buying back this position for 63 plus 37, which is 100 rupees. Right now, this is trading for 49 and 51, which is 100 rupees. So there has been same like last Friday. There has been no fall off in premium at all whatsoever since uh, uh, 10 o'clock in the morning. After that initial cr mm -hmm. IV crush, there has been no further crush. And this it's going to be difficult to make money. It's going to just throw you out in every direction. Adjustments are going to cost. So if you adjust for the upside, then it reverses that adjust for the downside. And eventually you just keep bleeding, bleeding, bleeding in both directions. So anyway, that more or less is the summary of the day. Mm -hmm. uh, today is not the kind of day which uh, it's about not losing money. First of all, bad entry on top of that, uh, uh, this kind of a move. So, yeah, not much to say really. And uh, uncertainty continues. It is always uh, good to book in time. In, if you're in profit, book in time. Even if you give up a little bit by the end, it's fine. Because these markets are purely random. Like there is literally <laughs> no sense in what is happening. There's no point in doing any kind of major analysis, except like maybe looking at the charts. Um, looking, doing OI analysis and all, it's all senseless. Uh, right now, markets will be random. So it all comes down to risk and reward. So anyway, thank you for watching. I hope you had a good trading day. I wish you a great weekend ahead and I'll catch you next week. Take care. Have a good one.